Last few weeks we've had entirely too many people showing up, so I've tried to make these lectures more and more boring to try to thin the numbers. <laughs> and I think we it's finally worked. We finally have it down to enough people that we can all like actually comfortably stand around one board at a time. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That's Mission, so, accomplished. Mission accomplished. <laughs> so tonight I was calling Tricky Tesuji. Did you find these tricky? Did you find them Tesuji? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, and I think about my own definition of tricky, I kind of meant two different things by this. The first of which was, you know, somewhat common situations that players screw up just constantly because they're tricky, right? Like where, where it looks like there's something you can do, but you can't quite find it, and you die. I think that's a tricky situation. Uh, but I also mean tricky, and a couple of these shapes are quite novel. Like a couple of these boards, I just thought, oh, that's a really cool shape. I'm not sure how often I see it in the game, but that's a cool shape, so it's tricky. All right, so for this board, uh, where's I tried to order them somewhat in order of difficulty, but I think I failed somewhat. But I think this is one of the easier ones. Yes. Did you guys come up with a move here? Oh, by the way, these are all white to play. <laughs> Very did, important. Did, did that make a Poor difference? people you... in the YouTubes didn't know that and were like, oh, you just play 2-1 here. Uh, black you play characters. anything, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not <laughs> tricky at all for black at all. Literally anything. <laughs> yeah, but we finally did a white to play night. So <laughs> did, it, did it psychologically hamper you in any way? Did it feel weird? I can blame that. <laughs> Perfect. I'm all for that. You know, make excuses wherever you find them. Absolutely. All right. So not a lot of moves available. Not a lot of moves available. That's what helps make this problem easier. Yes. One one. Let's, yeah. Let's go to right first, first, or should we just? I don't know how to fail this problem. Yeah. Yeah. Once well, I mean, if, if you want, I think, yeah. I think anything but that <laughs> just <laughs> fails <laughs> miserably. Everything just fails miserably, just pretty instantaneously. Yeah, because. Uh, you only have two liberties, and black has three, right? Yep. So you're screwed unless you can find a way to turn one of black's liberties into your liberty and... Make an eye. Uh, well, that's sort of what does that. And keep, well, we're, we're actually flipping two, we get, we're gaining two liberties when we do this, mm -hmm. right? This is kind of a subtle liberty counting thing, because right now we have two, right? Mm -hmm. I play this, we still have two liberties. We do. But the so. difference is be before black has three, but after we have an eye, that means all inside liberties belong to us. So instead of now counting, counting for a black liberty, that's our liberty. And uh, by making this an eye here, black needs an extra approach move. So it's like we gain two liberties with that move by taking one away from black and making black have an approach. And that gives us plenty of time just to prevent black from ever approaching us. Oh, I also mean, I, I'm gonna try to do the problems on this side because that's better for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't, don't let me do the problems up here. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Anyway, easy enough? Yes. That's a cool move, 1-1. One, one. I think one, one, whenever the 1-1 one, one point is the answer, that's a pretty tricky solution. <laughs> yes. Okay, satisfies the definition. Board two out of nine. Yo. This is a somewhat common situ type of situation. Uh, this is a very common Tesuji shape. If you've ever done Tesuji books or problems before, uh, this type of thing happens a lot. Uh, where you basically have a very limited liberty capturing race near the corner or edge of the board. And uh, what's white trying to do? Okay, Arthur is going to ruin all sense of drama here. <laughs> I was going to say, we can actually <laughs> fail this one. Yeah, this, this yeah. one's failable, right? Because you can well, say, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> people want <one> stone. <laughs> And Black's like, no. But belly attachment. take it. Yeah, belly attachment. It's <laughs> the belly attachment test G. And now we actually have a situation where it's three to three, but it's Black to play, so this is just dead white stones. So not much there. Uh, instead, we need to find a move that helps these stones and takes away liberty. Because right now it's still three to three, right? Three liberties to three liberties. And you're like, well, obviously this one, because it takes away liberty, but. Yeah, you're Atariing a stone. Yeah, you're uh, doing two things. If you, if you try something fancy that doesn't take away liberty, what's the problem now? You, you just, just lose the race. Yeah, it's three to three, you lose. You have to find a move that takes away liberty. And then your other option would be the three and one point to take away liberty. Ah, like this. Yes. What does black do? I think it's good. Hmm? Let's do this. Yeah. Should we connect? Black has to... Now you fix Tiger Mouth, maybe? Mm, I think that's yeah, better. Yeah, that's probably better. 
Actually, so need, so if you play on 2 1, don't you make. No, you don't make 2 1s. This would leave double Atari. Yeah, yeah that would be bad. That would be bad. But this gives us three liberties again, three to three. So I, if, if White just wants to win the capturing race outright, White would need to play something over here. And that's not going to happen. Right. So. Belly. Yeah, this is just. This is <laughs> White can't do it. Nothing here. Nothing here. Um, actually, I wonder. No. OK. I was thinking if Black had an extra, had time to actually even, doesn't even have to defend. But no, White mm, gains a liberty that yeah, way. Totally. So, not good enough. Better move. What could it possibly be? <laughs> <laughs> Here, it takes away liberty, and it threatens to connect underneath, right? Yeah. yeah. And once you've that's connected great. underneath, you will always win the capturing race. Yeah, so black would want to not let you do that. But then you can't. That's not a problem. Too, that's too bad. Two liberties to three, black just loses. There's nowhere to go. Mm. So yeah, this is, called, this is the belly attachment. It happens a lot in Tesuji books. Uh, it's a lot harder to spot in games, or to make happen in games. <laughs> but if you're doing Tetsuji books, this is a good problem for you, and that's what sort of makes it tricky. Okay, this board. So this board, again, if you if you if you reach a certain level of go, uh, <laughs> let me take away some stones here for a minute. Hopefully, most people watching are familiar with this shimari shape, right? Very common. But when you read, what I was saying is, when you reach a certain level of go. There is this probe that sort of becomes very popular. And it's not as popular in professional games today. It's still played, but not as popular as it was maybe even 15, 20 years ago. This was a fairly standard probing sequence. Uh, and White has, there's, there's actually a number of Josekis that come out of it. Um, but the one that this shape comes out of looks like this. And black plays there, and white just happens to have another stone over here. So this is like a normal, and actually White also has another stone over here, just pretend that didn't happen. But that's how you get the shape, okay? <laughs> this type of probing sequence. Um, so White to play. <laughs> Black just, you know, basically peed in your corner. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about Black well, ruining? Punch him. him. That's kind of rude. That's quite, quite, quite rude, rude, quite rude. My the normal move, right, we'd expect to see is White to play here. But the problem is this lives. That's a live corner shape. And that's why this probing move works, right? If we, if we go back to the original sequence, uh, one of the things that black is hoping for when black plays this, if white right. takes the outside, uh, black can actually just live here immediately with this move. Mm. However, if white is strong on the outside, all of a sudden, black has an issue. So now black plays this. So cutting what's cutting point, we had some thoughts. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Two, 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 and, two and two, three. Two, two, and a two, three? Yeah, no, yeah. not clamp. that good. That clamp. One. Clamp. Yeah. All right, let's look at the two, two first. Yeah, because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just get blocked from the outside. Uh, okay, if we play this way, white cuts. And now it's black's move, and you're at two to three. Well, it's a little tricky, though. Does this matter? This is reminding me of the last uh -huh. problem. <laughs> so black going to be one of our future problems. Black connects. And now black plays a turn. That is unfortunately oh. a dead shot. I'm seeing if we can, oh. well, not quite yet, because white really needs to have one more move over on the outside. Uh, can we play here? <laughs> More Tesuji. More Tesuji, Tesuji on top of Tesuji. <laughs> so to make an under the stone shape. And yeah. also black's not an Atari, black doesn't have to capture. Not yet, no. Can black, oh, but. Maybe black makes one black, black I see. Side. Does black capture this right now? Mm. Now white, yeah. Uh, this is like a whole thing now. <laughs> All right, this isn't really isn't part of the problem. I just kind of had some fun here. <laughs> you guys being completely black captures, white Ataris. Oh, no. This is no good. Ha, I did it. All right, that wasn't what I meant to show you at all, but that was kind of a fun <laughs> Uh 
that was kind of fun. All right, so what do we do? We blocked after playing 2-2. Two, two. Oh yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so I just made 2-2 two, two work, is that what happened? Yeah. 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 Crap. <laughs> <laughs> so I really wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, we blocked at 3-2. Yeah, we did do this. Uh, All right, there's a co here. We can force a co. Yes. Yeah. All right. This is the co we found. Okay. So two two doesn't quite work. Uh, if we play this way, this is just dead. dead. If we play this way, there's this co that just magically actually is still dead shape, huh? Hmm. Interesting. What if we do this? Still co type of shape. All right, there's a there's there's a bunch of ways to make a comma. I don't think that's the best way to make a co, but there is a co. So white is better. Well, black, black. has a co. Ah, oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. Black has something. We didn't want to leave black with Wait, something. I'm just kidding. All right. Your other idea was a clamp. Yes. All right. So what do you think black plays here? Uh, two, 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 two. Two, two, makes sense. Yeah. Why does white play here? Pull back. Ah, nicely done. This is the real test CPG. Yes. And so why doesn't white play here? Because it doesn't work. Because it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but why? What's, what's the difference? Because white has protect. to defend that stone now, and now black yeah. has no Yeah, white already has to play this move. Yes. Right? But the real difference is giving black a stone here. Mm -hmm. And if you don't give black a stone here, this can only this can be reduced all down to one eye, and that's the magic. Because that stone that's on the point where you Atari is can now be forced into being a false eye. That's right. Mm -hmm. White can play here. Yep. If black says, "Aha! I have an eye on the corner," throw in two stones instead of just one. There you go. You throw in again. Everybody's favorite. Oh, actually, this uh, this is a problem though, right? <laughs> Did I think this through? I think you needed to play yep. over there first as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, we play there first. Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> now it works. That is what we did. I got excited. Yes, it is. <laughs> I got excited. We, threw, we, we popped up shape too early. Good. And now if white does this, or black does this, do now it's works. Whatever, yeah. There we go. Or plays in the corner. Uh, this way? Uh, no, no black. black could also play oh, the two oh. Yeah. Play this one. That's, that's the one. That is another attempt. Uh, but no working. We didn't yeah. say it worked. We said. Oh it was yeah, better. attempt, attempt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> also falsified. More crushed dreams. Yes. So good. So good. So again. I, I deem that tricky. Hmm? You think it's tricky? I deem that tricky. <laughs> yeah, I think it's tricky. Yeah. I think it's tricky. Whoops! I killed too many stones here. Uh, again, the shape. If you're if you're at the Q level, especially double digit Q level, you probably don't run into the shape that often. Once you get to single digit Q, maybe low down. This this type of bullshit happens, <laughs> all right? And you need to know that this makes a live shape. Mm -hmm. So if you are entitled to more than a live shape, i.e. you have extra stones on the outside, you need to find this move, and then don't help black. <laughs> okay? Yes. It's fine. All right, this one. This board wins artificial situation of the night board. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this look pretty. Uh, I like how symmetrical it is. Uh, what, do you, what do you think White's trying to do here? What's the problem? White's trying to live and sacrifice two stones. White's, well, I wouldn't say White's trying to sacrifice two stones. I would say White's is trying not to die. Yeah. yeah. White uh, has very little choice. White, White has sacrifice. three groups here. They're all looking quite dead. We have a visitor. Who is it? Colin. Oh, it's Colin. Hi. Hello. Okay. Uh, so we just don't want to lose eight stones. It'd be nice to save some stones, preferably at least six of the eight. 75% ain't bad, that's a C, that's passing grade. <laughs> well, how do we do it? Well, this the is, point a, this is a pretty symmetrical problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty big <laughs> clue. <laughs> Continue the symmetry <laughs> until there's no symmetrical points left. Always the answer. Or more importantly, like, like I think this is tricky because this is a weird situation, right? You're trying to connect this group to this group. 
And if you just say, ah, look, I'm going to take away liberty, I'm just going to do it the normal looking way. Super doesn't work. It super doesn't work because <laughs> black has two stones captured. As long as black has at least two liberties and can separate you, has time to separate you, then there's no way to actually connect up. So you have to find a move that basically goads black into shorting his own liberties. Yeah. Now, black is smart. Black is not dumb. Like, actually, no, black is the dumber player. Uh, <laughs> Right, Black is the number player, so Black plays this move, thinking he's smart. Right, because he's like, aha, I know as long as I have more liberties, I can just do whatever I want down here, right? I have three, I always have two, not a problem. But what does White do? Block. Well, can I have one in liberty advantage on you? That's right. And Black is like, no. <laughs> now we have to restore symmetry. <laughs> we have to restore <laughs> symmetry again. You must return balance. Right, black, black is the one who has to break symmetry twice now. It's true. <laughs> Black's getting a little bit nervous here. Uh, what if Black does this? You Atari. Uh, yeah. Uh oh, we're at one. This case, Black two. can't play here. Black didn't gain a liberty, so now it's no. two to two. Yeah, that didn't. So this is this is a train wreck. That doesn't work. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so Black doesn't have any time to do any of this. Sad. At this point, Black has to just go back and take. And we can Atari and can take. Uh, and if White really feels like it, White can play here. If, if no, 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 this is don't laugh because look, even though Black has a wall here, imagine there is a strong-looking White group over here. Yeah. If this wall has no eyes, oh, mm -hmm. right, right. This throwing is good because later on. You can poke out some eye space. So, so it, however, it does a little bit of a bad Aji move, potentially, because mm -hmm. we're actually giving black more co-threats. So keep that in mind. And we're also devaluing the, the, the capture here. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. If we're not worried about co-threats or, no, what should I say? I should say, if, if, we, if we know we can't attack this group, and you probably just play here, because it's better for code threads. Cool. Connected. And you're connected. Hey, look at that. We uh, didn't die. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that's a tricky problem just because it's funny looking. Not, not, yeah. Not a, not a realistic problem, but still a fun way to connect up things by knowing the points of symmetry. Okay, this one. This one it gets hardcore. Yes. This yes, is this is where the dons get separated from the cues. <laughs> because this is this is a don level <laughs> game situation. It's stupid. That's no, not stupid. It's not stupid. This is, this is important. I'm telling you, yes, this is this you know, of all the problems here today, if you understand this problem and can like internalize this shape, like you'll wake up tomorrow as a Don player. <laughs> Okay. Not quite. I'm going to hold you to that. That's right. <laughs> you were the one who was saying that you needed to learn this one. <laughs> yeah. See? I only know the beginning of it. <laughs> That's why you're not a Don player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, I'll, uh, spoiler alert, this is a tombstone shape problem. Mm -hmm. That's what this problem is about, right? Mm -hmm. And for Don players, that's like, oh, of course, it's tombstone. You just play tombstone. And if you're a Q player, you're looking at this going, What's a tomb? <laughs> or what's a stone? You know, something in there. You just, you just, you're just dumbfounded, right? But yeah, this is a tombstone problem. This is just straight up tombstone. There's nothing else to it. So the question is, how do we turn this into a tombstone problem? All right. Here's to the sequence we memorized earlier. And this is where we weren't sure exactly what move we needed to do first. Ah, okay, let's, let's, let's try, you, this, this could be like the, the backhanded switcheroo type of shape. Yeah. Different than Tombstone, but also a down-level technique, where white changes direction on the Atari here. On Atari's again. Right. It could be this type of problem. We don't, we don't know what type of problem. I, I, I know I already told you it's a Tombstone problem, so you know it's not this, but. Right. This is what I thought it was, but it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Because black can Atari. Black, yeah, black is not in Atari like it should be. <laughs> yeah, white, white isn't <laughs> quite strong enough locally. Yeah, it's... Can we just observe the fact that 
you used the language it to refer to your opponent. This is a very important strategy in Go. Well, is to pretend that your opponent isn't a person. Every, and, and every Go player right now is only interested in playing robots. Sure. So. I, 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 mean, I would not be particularly interested in playing a robot right now. Really? Well, so so actually, here's here's some some free advertisement for the U.S. Go Congress. Hi, U.S. AGA. Uh, send a check my way. Um, <laughs> anyway, the this U.S. Go Congress Facebook is doing a demo of of their Go AI. That you can sign up for right now and play a giant simul against the Facebook AI, and it'll send you an, not only an SGF but an annotated SGF by the AI oh. of, of a game you play against it. So if you're going to the U.S. Go Congress, you can go play. The Facebook AI. You know? Now, if it's going to tell me what I did wrong, that's actually that's, 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 a, yeah. that's what it's going that's, to do. That's a pretty good reason to play it. See, yeah. see. So, hey, I'll see you all at the Go Congress now. <laughs> we can all go play robots together. We can all refer to our opponents as it from now on, and just agree that that's how it should be. <laughs> okay. I mean, this doesn't quite work. We're a liberty short. <laughs> that makes me sad. All right. Yep. Uh, because of the Ataris, White essentially really only has two liberties. In black, because white can't actually approach, needs a one, at least one move to approach, we, black has three liberties. So, no bueno. Backhanded switcheroo to the face. No, no backhanded switcheroo. Is, that, is that the official name of that shape? Uh, you know... <laughs> uh, black's got an extra. Thank you. I, I think so. <laughs> okay. I have to check the translation, though. <laughs> Does white just connect here? Yes. That's what it was. And so, black Ataris, but which direction? Black has to Atari from the bottom here. Good. What happens if black Atari's here? White descends and, and laughs. Yeah. White descends <laughs> easily and yeah. laughs because you can't anywhere. approach. Right. You've just shorted yourself. So that doesn't work. So you have to play this way. All right. Tombstone, go. Okay. There it is. This is how we get there. And then white has to go there, there. yeah. Yep. Good. Yep. Take. And oh, then throw in. Throw in. This throw in, good. This is an Atari. Black, Black can't connect, that's self Atari. Take. Has to take. And then connect. white connects. Connect. That's the really important move of the tombstone. If Black says, aha, I have an eye. White just. Okay. This eye doesn't matter. It's three liberties to three liberties. Yep. Yeah. Still loses. And so Black's like, aha, I will escape. Like... Nope. You cannot in escape, in escape the tombstone. Uh, Atari the three stone. Oh, I think it's uh, correct. I think you just goes there. Yeah. yeah. And now you can Atari the three stones. Or um, now you can on. just go here, probably. It's starting to run out of liberties. Uh, can you, though? So know. this is one, two, three. Uh, no, no, no. All right, sorry, hold on. Right, black. <laughs> Why would you need to approach? Black, take, yeah, you can You can still just clamp there. That works. Okay. So, <laughs> black's got nothing. <laughs> eh? Ah, ah, wait a second. This might be something. Huh? Uh, it's Don't you just can we co? Can we can we have a uh, one step co? No, it's the same thing. No, it's not a co. It's not a co. Yeah, not a co. Um. So uh, doesn't help. Oh, so sorry. Uh, yeah. I, if it's like this, then can it become a co if this if white doesn't have a ladder breaker? No. Oh, you, oh, you mean this? Oh, yeah, yeah. This, this, this matters, but that's an infinite number of like not infinite, but a lot of co threats you can use as running out the ladder one move. Mm -hmm. yep. If it, if it, if it, if it, yeah, if that really became a co. Um, but even so, you don't. White doesn't have to play this way. Right. You could just because white can always stones. capture these three stones. Right. Right here. That's just. And you have this stone out here let's go to, back to keep shape. black. Uh, there's an extra move here somewhere. Thank you. So even if black were to do some shenanigans, white can just play here mm -hmm. and connect up. And again, black can't connect because that's death. 
I, again, I, I, I think white should still make this exchange. Uh, yeah, and where, this, where is this black group going to go? Yeah. To the white stone, sadly. To the white stone, yes. Anyway, tombstones are great. Use them to kill people. <laughs> Which is convenient, sure? because if you kill them, there's already a, a marking for the grave. Ha ha! Ha Okay, next board. Tricky, that was tricky. So, so much less tricky. Yes. This one's so much less tricky? Yes, I, rem yeah. I remember it being much less. Yeah, and actually, actually this, this, this also is going to have a name oh. we've already encountered. Hmm. Alright, show me, show me what you got. I think it was this one. Oh. I was forgetting this one, though. Oh no, it's this one, isn't it? Oh. Well, you do yours first. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to show the people. Let's show the people how wrong you are. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. I have failed to go. <laughs> what happens now? I cry. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> pretty much immediately doesn't. Yeah, you gotta go there. To try and it. then you get cut. You get cut. <laughs> and now you're just sad. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pump <laughs> the dawn level player says. <laughs> it's it's four it's to four three. To three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that but yeah, you get to see this. You work. get to make this territory in center. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so that's cool. Hooray. Sacrifice all this. Or you can <laughs> get that territory and also. Yeah, or you can get everything. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. Let's see. Right, better idea. It's a stupid looking move. Oh yes, oh yes. This looks rather familiar. Doesn't it? Oh yes, it's backhanded switcheroo time. <laughs> also the name of my sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> After the last board, I was really happy that this was the shape. Yeah. Because yeah. I was really sad this that was one somewhat wasn't. intentional. <laughs> so there you go, you actually save these four stones and cut off this giant clump of Tasty black stones. Life is good. Life is great. Yeah. Most excellent. So that's it. I wonder how many points of a swing that is. It's a bunch. Uh, <laughs> um, that's cute. Yeah, assuming those black stones die. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. That's and that's that's like a forty point swing. Yeah. I click approaching forty points of difference. Those sequences get played out in full. This one is cool. This one is cool. I was actually, I was actually really happy that you guys really liked this problem because I was looking at, it, I was like, you might think this problem is really dull and boring because <laughs> <laughs> it's so anticlimactic, right? And one, is one way of looking at it. Yeah, sure. Because what is White's problem? White's Two got cuts. a lot of problems, which is the problem. He's got a lot of cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Also, if I haven't mentioned this explicitly, I, I don't think on camera, but if the people on the internet are dumb enough to get to this point to not realize that the same problem is on both sides of the board. You only have to do one side, you don't have to solve both. They're not two different problems here. Fair. I don't think we mentioned that. What we should have done is we should have swapped the colors of the stones. Oh. So the, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Just mess with them. All right, so anyway, what, what are White's problems? There. Yeah, and I mean, if we lose these three stones, that's big. Yeah. If, if, and if they get a cutoff, then all of a sudden this has no base. So, and this can be poked through. <laughs> mm -hmm. So if we save this, boom, these get cut off. If we save this, these die and this has no base. <laughs> Clearly Tanuki, zero is the answer. <laughs> there can be no, no solution. I think he's making yeah. a center symmetry of that. Is that? I yeah, know. because That's it's white to play, to but this one's... I, think I, don't, random stone I don't think this stone is on the board. <laughs> Let's pretend it's not. It doesn't matter. It has no effect. It does not. So we need to find a magical move that will solve all of our problems. All right. How, how many wrong moves do we want to play first? Uh, let's, well, you're just, I don't know, try, 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 all, try all the wrong moves, all right? All the wrong moves. Here, because we can go there pretty go. quickly. Here, you push, you cut. <laughs> Super Done. doesn't work. Yeah. Okay. You connect this way, Back. you push, you cut. <laughs> There's nothing oh, here, no. you just die. Yeah. All right. 
So here's the one that was close. Uh huh. The, uh, so this is down, down. Down. That's, that's yeah. not right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's not there. Thank you. Yep. So this was the one that we first thought looked kind of clever. That one looks really cool. But it doesn't work. You push your cut. Yeah, it, does, it doesn't <laughs> work. It's really close. <laughs> But wait, wait, sad. wait, is the cut? No. Uh, so the white goes here. Because the cut's Atari. And then it, it doesn't. Oh, the cut's Atari. It's close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so close is not enough. Close is not. Mm -hmm. uh, so... And it, oh, one, one here. One more. That one's there, and that one's not. Yeah. So instead, we found this. This is a magical move, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, you should know, often when you have a two-space jump, the kosumi, right, this diagonal move, is another way to connect it on the second line. And the reason why it works is because when black pushes down, this makes a tiger's mouth. It does. And it actually connects, you can cut. And, yeah, it's, and which is nice. in this case, and only this case, this push, uh, oops, that's not there. Um, this push move is actually defended by two tiger's mouths now. So there is no cut. So it's super magical. Oh wait, there's even more magic because this move is also good endgame, right? Because it not only connects this group to this group, it also connects this weak stone, this stone that would normally just die in the endgame, right? To everybody else too. So it saves three groups, and later on we can have a sente reduction. It does everything. It slices. It dices. <laughs> it butters your toast for you. Now only 19.99. Kind of want some toast now. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. 1999. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet little shape. So anyway, yeah, when I was I was scared for the board out. I was like, you know, they're just gonna find this move and be like, oh duh, we're dumb. <laughs> but no, you guys thought it was cool, and that's that's cool. All right, two left. This one, uh, this this is a, actually a more common game situation than you might think it is. Uh, this is actually not an uncommon. Uh, type of sequence in the corner, and to be left with a fairly common type of shape weakness. Mm -hmm. And so, what do you think white can do here? We're, we're just, just don't tell me what the answer is. Just tell me what what does it think, look like? It sure seems like a thing you can cut. Yeah, it looks mm -hmm. it looks like this connection is kind of suspect. Yeah. And some of you might say, "Hey, let's just cut it." No. That one doesn't work. Right. And if if black plays here. White plays here, and White gets a free corner, right? And a floating group, that'd be, that'd be amazing. But of course, that's not what Black plays. Black plays here. If you descend, you die. So Black stays connected and gets out. I mean, you ruined the ice base a little bit. Sure. But that is disappointing. We didn't get any meat. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't get the meat, no. So that's a better way to disconnect here. So one thing we tried was this, and it was okay. That, this is okay, yeah. This is a way, if, if, if Black is thinking, oh, hey, uh, I better stay connected here because you poked at my diagonal shape, white gets a good result. Because mm -hmm. now what happens? What? Oh, no. Right. One. There you Sorry. go. Uh, if Black place here, there's just a disconnection. If black plays here, there's a disconnection. Either yeah. way, we killed the corner, and the group is floating. But it turns out this is very optimistic. Black has better. Black has better. Because when you play this empty triangle, black's like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Let me make some shape here. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, aha, I cut you. And black's like, well, that's cool, I'm just gonna live. And yeah, white gets a good result, right? White separates and can now attack this. Yeah, this is but uh, there's there's better. Not greedy enough. Not greedy. And this this is one of those cases where we can do more. And so we need to find a move that does even more. So the other thing we're looking at was doing that. Yeah, that's the move. We couldn't get this to work though. What? No. At least as I recall. All right. What? What? How did you not get it to work? Okay. Well, we Atari. Where we? Honey. Honey, the stone. From here. Yep. Okay. And then. Uh, maybe this was what we messed up. Yeah. This is the move. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you play, if you play this move. Yeah. You're like, aha! I can separate. It doesn't work. It does work to separate. 
Yeah. But it doesn't, doesn't work to kill. Right. It's like that works, right? right? Separate. This is what we found. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's not good enough. We were trying to be greedier. So we go here. We go... Sorry, what does black do? Does black go here? Yep. Then we play the triangle. Now you play this move. And now, this move, because you've made this exchange, black has no choice in the corner. If black links up, we cut, black dead. If black is dumber than that, black will connect here. <laughs> and then we cut, and then white gets more stones. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And that group on the outside can still be annoyed. Oh yeah, that's that's still just a tasty treat after dinner dessert here. <laughs> we already eat the meal, and yet there's more. So yeah, in this shape, and again, this is sort of a common-ish shape. This attachment on the bottom of a kosumi is trying to connect to something. Leave some pretty major weaknesses uh, because this stone is strong, right? Um, in diagonal shapes, right? They're connected as long as you have time to play the other one. So if I can disconnect and have that stone do something, that's the real power. And so again, in this case, it does something because it, it makes this stone really strong. And protected. All right. Was tricky? Mm -hmm. Yes. Was so tricky you guys didn't quite get it? Yeah, that's how tricky it was. Same right. with this last one, I think. Now the last, this one was my favorite problem. Uh, partially... Well, here, we'll, we won't spoil the surprise yet. I think, I think this is my favorite problem of the day. Uh, because it looks really easy. <laughs> like, it looks like, hey, look, is this a three to three capturing race? White to play? Yeah, what can go, what's turns the, out, what turns can go out, wrong? None of that works. <laughs> There's nothing that can go wrong. It's just, Everything goes it's just wrong. smooth skies. So, do you guys, do you find an answer to this? You're just guessing now. <laughs> no, this, is, this is your answer? Well, this we're is not... the best we got. Okay. We, and we found that move, so. Yeah. And then. And then we failed to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. 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 It better not yeah. be the one one point. <laughs> so we, we have this code. Yeah. Yep. Right. So you guys can. F you guys yeah. basically found Co. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Right. Not the best answer. Yeah. Yeah. We figured that. Well, clearly you didn't because you didn't find a better answer. <laughs> I think we also looked at this one. Yeah. This one looks like the obvious one. Like, hey, mm -hmm. look, just short the liberties, two to three. I win the world capturing race. What does Black do though? Mm. Yeah. And I. I think you should actually throw in first. Yes, yeah. you have to throw in first. Yeah, that's right. So if white captures here, now you play here. Mm-hmm. Yep. And problem? Yes. Yeah, white can't approach ever. Ever. <laughs> so if white connects, you play here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I just thought I saw something else. Oh, what do you think you saw? Um, can white, instead of capturing, can white go into the corner? One one. Now. More liberties for black. So that's a bad. Are you going to capture back? <laughs> <laughs> so so like hold on. Move it is now. We have the exact same position that we but, just had, except white has played two moves and black has played one. That's not a good exchange. That is not a good exchange. <laughs> it is the exact mathematical equivalent of passing. <laughs> I found a way to pass without actually saying pass. Uh, I was going to reset the song. I was like, yeah. though. Don't that make it hmm? worse? It depends on the rule set. Mm. Uh, in this case, X actually still co. How do you make a co? Whose move is it? Uh, white, because black just descended. This is still a co shape. We can play 1 3. Yeah. Throw in. Yep. Take. Co. Yep. Black to sand, the white takes first. Mm -hmm. So, more or less same result. Oh, 
Well, well this is the, the other, other one, thing. I guess. Yeah. Uh, this looks very co. Yep, that's what we were seeing also. Can't connect. I have to start co. Again, white takes first. We only ever found co. <laughs> Yeah. It makes a lot of co's. It better yeah. not be 1-1. One, one. <laughs> oh, it's 1-1. One, one. Um, well, what, there's also this. Okay. Uh, Just we, immediately. It said it looked like the same thing as before. Three. Yeah. Is this the same as before? It looks like the same as before. You're not saying anything. Oh, it's the same. It's, it doesn't, it's the it doesn't same change as anymore. Before. Okay. Um, this doesn't help white. What does help white? What maybe? does help white? What haven't we tried? Well, we haven't tried. Well, there's connecting. Connecting is interesting. Yeah. Except we're in the middle of a three to three capturing race. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, there's this. Ooh, now that's interesting. But you just made empty triangle. Yeah, but it's in the corner. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's descending to the side, which is a way to get right, What should black try? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Three to uh, three. Wait a minute. It's still three to three, but it's black's move. I mean, it's true. Can... And also, this move actually is something interesting that if black ever approaches here, that actually shorts black a liberty right, as well. Right, right. So black can try that. That does that. Okay. And now, oh, yeah. I oh, yeah. Okay, I see it now. Ah. That's oh, no, no, no. No? No, what are you doing? Uh. Crying. Yeah. It's still this. Okay, so we have to connect. Short. We have to connect. Is it? No. No. If you don't play over here, Black's going to attar you and kill you. Yeah. And, all, and, your, and your brilliant, your brilliancy will have been. It's under the stones. All for naught. It's not under the stones. No. We already did under the stones night like a month ago. Now it's time for your uh, one two, Willie. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, oh. That is better. Black can't play here. Yep. So Black's like, ah, I'm gonna play this way. Uh. Oh. Black from the outside. Black from the out. Well, for, so it's white's move. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Block from oh, the outside. Block from the outside. Yeah, the uh, like here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. I think this also works. I don't think yeah, it works. Oh, either one worked. Actually, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure which one's better actually for coherence. I think they both work. That was cool too. That was cool. That one was just frustrating as well. <laughs> and yet it was my favorite. Yeah. So what yeah. we should have done is we should have said that the two one was a good move and looked for exchanges uh, to make before we did that. Yeah, like like you guys at least Alex did. I don't know the rest. You were trying to play 1 1 the whole time. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I was going to be mad if it was 1 1. I didn't want it to be 1 1. Um, but, like, let's well, so say at least one of you felt like this was a key point, right? Yeah. But it still we results all, in. We code. all were staring at that for ages. Yeah. And so, like, this is like the definition of tricky, mm -hmm. Tesuji. Yeah. I, uh, I don't think I'd see that in an actual game. No. Yeah, it's just a baller move. <laughs> it's just like, damn it, go board. Why you gotta be this way? Yeah, I don't even. I, it's it's just one of those moves. Like, that just kind of make you love hate the game. <laughs> it's like, wait, that's the one. An empty triangle on the one four point. <laughs> In the middle of a three to three capturing race. <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds improbable. <laughs> this is really dumb. This is really dumb. And yet, so magical. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. Uh, actually, does this work? <laughs> I'm still looking to see if there's a way to break it. What time is a black place here now? Just two more, just. I think White so. tries to run the eye. No, wait, wait, oh. hold on. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not over. Oh man. Maybe it's not over. Hold on. I didn't think about all these variations. Because um. you play this, there's this. And black plays here. White can. I guess you have to connect the one three. 
Uh, no. We screw up. <laughs> I think that you ignore the throw-in and play there. Ah, there we go. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. This. Yeah. Good save. Good save. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There's more. White. Uh, no, you really have plenty of time. Yeah, because what black needs to play over here. I was thinking black could do this way. Right to prevent you from approaching, but you still just go that way. Yeah. There you go. Good. The solution works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That does make it tricky. So anyway, uh, tricky Tesuji. Very tricky. Very tricky. That's, that's what Dwyron says. <laughs> I, see you sound. I don't think he said it in a while. All right, people on the internet comments can tell me if Dwyron still announces things as being tricksy, trickery. What did he say? Tricksy. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard him say that. I think I, I'm did pretty sure like like four or five years ago that was a thing he would say. <laughs> that was his tagline. Yeah. Thanks for showing us. Yeah, thank you guys. That was awesome.